Don't you mind me none I'm just holding up the bar I'm blessed with lots of friends God knows where the hell they are It's supposed to be a celebration Or haven't you been told Tonight I'm turning dirty years old She got out of college Now everything has changed She goes out to bars Where everybody's strange She would love to promise to love Honor, cherish, have and hold And not wind up dirty years old There's a man at the gym He's running for his life He did three years in Eddieville And now he's got a wife He's got a job He's clean His attitude is bold He ain't staying dirty years old I was so damn secure Everything was fine I couldn't watch Dean Martin Mom said no And I did what I was told Cause Dean was dirty years old Jesus was a baby Sound asleep in the manger God was the father they had come to an arrangement the wise men from the east came bearing gifts of gold cause they knew that they would never be dirty years old god will move a mountain but sometimes he takes his time sometimes leaves you twisting Looking for a word to rhyme Remember playing in Terry Cates' yard When the air was getting cold And none of us were dirty years old Little baby may you grow up Big and strong May your bumps in the road be short and your hair always be long May you always know what's right And not something you've been told You'll need it when you're dirty years old Your spirit is a droplet And the universe an ocean If you're clean you float up top but if you lose your locomotion Your drop of soul gets dirty And you sink down in the cold On your way to being dirty years old None of us are perfect We all slip beneath the surface Wind up in jail we're in a church service But as long as you got breath You can rise up from the cold No need in staying dirty years old No need in staying dirty years old Good morning Rise and shine Get that sleep out of your eyes, wakey, wakey. It's time for the Monday morning cup of coffee on January 2nd, 2023. Goodbye, 2022. Don't let the door hit you on the way out back away from us. 2023, a new start, a new beginning. Tabula rasa, clean slate. Let's have a sip of coffee together, shall we?
I hope you had a pleasant holiday. I wasn't with you last week. It was a bit hectic, and I wasn't able to do a Monday cup of coffee. Uh, I hope Santa Claus was good for you. He was for me. I got a couple of books I wanted. I got a Teenage Fan Club album. I got uh, a new pair of jet black skinny fit jeans. Calvin's even. They replaced the Calvin's that were cut off my legs when I had a wreck in 2015 and I was in the ambulance and to examine me, they took a pair of scissors and they cut my Calvin Klein's up. I was like, Man, I don't care how hurt I am. I don't care if a bone is sticking out the side of my thigh. Why do you got to cut the Calvins off? Can't you just pull them off? But uh, but EMTs don't think that way. So uh, now, now I have another pair of black Calvins that are slim fit. They're not skinny fit like most of them, but slim fit good for stage use. I, you know, And I'm not going to wash them very often. They're going to stay black so I can wear them on stage. And I don't know how many times I'll be on stage in January, actually. I, I have no gigs. I don't think I have a single gig lined up in January. But I'm going to work on that, you know, some minor stuff, some pickup gigs. I'm, um, not that it's minor stuff, but I'm going to call up uh, uh, D's and see if they got an open slot, see if I can get the whole band in there. I'm excited to do that because I've got a new toy. I got a Fishman acoustic amplifier. It's an amplifier designed for acoustic guitars. And I'm excited to get that out and play with it. I'm also excited to get my uh, Epiphone Les Paul with the P90 pickups out and running because they're new pickups. I got Kent Armstrong noiseless P90s. Now, one thing you need to know about P P90 pickups is they sound great. They make an unbelievable tone, but when you're not playing a note, they go, mm. it's called the 60 cycle hum, and it's almost impossible to get them out of the sound, but somebody figured it out. Apparently, Kent Armstrong is the name of the guy who figured it out, and uh, so... I'm looking forward to playing that electric guitar some more live. Uh, I'll probably be doing some live stream shows this month. Why not? It'll keep me keep me in practice. That song I just played, Dirty Years Old, that's the first song I've started recording for my next record. Got together with Jonathan Bright, and uh, we're doing things the exact same way we did for... I thought it was fine, that album. Nothing's going to change. We're going to get together for two or three hours every week or two and go over something. And we don't belabor the point. We put a microphone on a guitar amp and we play a part and we listen to it and go, does it sound like a guitar? Yes, it does. Moving on. Let's put the bass on now. Uh, so... You know, and it worked for us once. I bet you it'll work again. We're going to do the exact same album, just different chords in different order and different words. Other than that, it's going to be the exact same. No artistic growth whatsoever. Artistic growth is a fallacy. Sometimes when you do something right, just stay with it. You know? Uh, I hope you have a prosperous new year. Uh, I get to start the localized chemo regimen, uh, I believe the fourth, that's Wednesday. I'll, I'll be doing that, uh, starting Wednesday, uh, six weeks in a row, once a week, they're going to shoot BCG virus up into my bladder. You've heard me talk about that before, probably. It's no big deal. Uh, it's 30 seconds of serious discomfort but the valium lasts half the day so i come out the winner the way i see it and then i got surgery on my sinuses january 20th that's coming up um, um so i'm interested apparently i can't 
I lost my sense of smell, <clears throat> excuse me, because there's a bunch of impacted stuff up in here. Um, a whole lot. They did a CT in my head and it's just entirely blocked up there. I'm surprised I'm not nasal sounding when I speak. Um, so they're going to go up there with a roto rooter brush or something and they're going to get rid of all that crap and pull it out my nose and uh, I'll be on good drugs at the time I'm looking forward to that at least I assume they'll be good drugs maybe not you never know with doctors these days um, and that's the 20th I will not be at the 30A songwriter festival this year and it makes me very sad, but uh, a lot of things went by the wayside this year. I spent a little more time in bed uh, dealing with maladies than most people know. Uh, and I didn't get my application to 30A in on time. So I won't be doing that. I won't be doing Folk Alliance, but uh, I will be working on this next record. And I'm working on a book, too. And I'll show you one of my Christmas presents here. The words of Jesus in Aramaic. Now, Aramaic is the language that Jesus spoke. And it's spill, it is still spoken in a few crevices of the world. In, in Iraq, there is a tribe that still speaks it. A couple others in Palestine. And... Uh, um, the book I'm working on uh, requires uh, knowledge of a smattering of Aramaic and Greek, for that matter, ancient Greek. I'm going to be looking into both of those. Um, let's see, I think I told you all my other cool presents I got. Beth got a bunch of cool stuff, mainly kitchen stuff. She's quite the cook, quite the foodie. And like I knew, I like new effects pedals or new guitars or whatever. Uh, she likes new whisker brushes and mixers. You know, when you mix, the egg beaters go around. She likes that shit. Um, Nathan got a new King Gizzard record, I think. And uh, we just had a gay old time. And I hope you did too. I hope you look forward to a new 2023. Let's get off on the right foot. I'm starting a diet along with Beth. And this right here, we're going to work on getting that to go away as much as possible. We're changing our diet. We're going to start exercising. I know everybody makes that New Year's resolution. And we're no different this year. But... Uh, we want to get rid of the bag of nails that's sitting on front of both of us. Uh, with her, it hurts her back. With me, it hurts my ego. Because um, I'm a skinny guy. I'm not near as skinny as I was 20 years ago in the old cocaine days. I'm not as nearly as skinny as I was then. But at least I didn't have the gut then. Now, you know... Uh, I'm healthier because I'm not 120 pounds anymore, but uh, but I've got this gut now, and I'm still svelte. I'm still a skinny guy, but there's nothing less attractive than a skinny guy with a gut sticking out. It's just disgusting. It's the type of guy who goes to Dickerson Road and picks up a $50 hooker. You know, it's that's I, I don't know where that came from. Anyway... I'll let you go. This has been a long one. Don't let the bastards get you down. God bless you. I wish you health and happiness for the new year. And I'll see you next Monday. Keep those cards and letters coming, folks. Send me a picture of your mug that you drink out of. And I'll see you later. <laughs>